I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. What gives you the right to command me? I am Inquisitor Urinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner, a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. And once he's free, what will he tell the Jedi? What did you plant on him? Information that should encourage certain Outer Rim colonies to reduce their defenses. Once that happens, we can arrange the destruction of those colonies and their Jedi defenders. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. I will accomplish it. You will find the Jedi Quarian Dorges in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I am Corian Dorges. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? No one deserves suffering so extreme. You mean that? A Sith with a conscience? You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? You need to calm down. You're right. I apologize. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Me? I'll be fine. I'm more worried about you. That's very kind of you, Sith. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. I think it's time that I be going. As you say, Sith. Thank you again. I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. Anything for a fellow Sith. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Blasted mining droids. We're tougher than I thought. I'm not going to make it, but I hope whoever is watching this will honor me. Escaped slaves stole weapons from the Academy. I fled into this tomb. They've reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Try to 
take them down myself. Didn't work out. Destroy enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. Teach them not to cross the Sith. Ah, approach. I've heard rumors of your exploits in the tombs. You follow in the footsteps of failed apprentices. Ones sent to slay renegades and crack the shells of armored droids. You fared better. You see it correctly. The mining droids not only protected the slaves who subverted their program, but threatened to damage the tombs of the ancients. That would have been unforgivable. And for succeeding where others died, you will be rewarded. Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? You have my permission. Thank you. I'm honored that you would do me the courtesy. There was another Acolyte, not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. Tell me how he died. I don't know, but I could tell he was dying. I heard him scream, even through the great tomb doors. The acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. Yes. The father should be told that his son has fallen. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a Dark Honor Guard stationed in the Academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the Fallen. If I see the Acolyte's body, I will try to retrieve it. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the Academy. Good luck. You found him. That poor Acolyte. Yes, yes, one dead Acolyte. His father is, was, Naaman Fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. That sounds worthwhile. Thank you. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced by the Sith than just hate and fury. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. You don't belong here. You stand before the Chamber of the Dark Council, and this floor is off-limits to all who are not Lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. I've come with news about your son. So that is the smell you carry. It is said he went into the tomb of Naga Sadao to prove himself, and was killed. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in there. Of course. Ask away, my lord. Your deference does you credit. Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? In the end, was he Sith? He died valiantly, deep in the tombs. He was nearly Sith. He died well. I suppose my son had more of me in his heart than I had ever considered possible. With this news, you have brought me a peace I didn't think possible. Thank you. I will have him buried in honor. Take this small token of my appreciation and go. What are you supposed to be? 
Du är jag, han ju stiga för dig. Du ser det alla mörkt, ja. Kan jag inte ge dig för att jag inte är gegant sin indulgörkimata? We were never alike. I'm the pride of the Academy. Tell me what happened next. Yes, 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 I'm interested in helping. Ah, great, yes, I'm in. Let your father be a sneak. The target is a martyr, she led yet. There is strength and power within you. I'd like to know the source. Come, yes, let you get her for a shender up against him in the jerky, madam. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. I'm here for a special meal. You know the kind. You... you've been talking to Seyrun, haven't you? That creature was... close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seyrun's special meals. Tell me more of this. Seyrun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Seyrun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures. The bones and blood of dead acolytes. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal, and became strong in the dark side. That has Fiasco written all over it. Pity I didn't have your insight at the time. When I saw how twisted Seyrun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. What exactly is your plan? Aid Seyrun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power and it will begin hunting Acolytes. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Seyrun. Before I sent Seyrun away, I developed a powerful toxin. But I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. So, let's say we poison it. What happens to Seyrun then? My best guess? If we do this, Seyrun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Then let's poison that thing. I'm glad you see it as I do. I'm giving you this meat. Don't ask me where it came from, but it should fool Seyrun. Once the poison is in its system, it will weaken. I take no satisfaction in this, but it is necessary. It's all yours. Enjoy. I did what was called for. Leave this evil place, Sarun. Leave the Academy and leave Korriban if you can. It's no place for you. Come closer, Acolyte. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. Your name, now. 
I am Efren Zell. For generations, my family has studied the tombs of Korriban, traveling from one to the next to learn the history of the Sith. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Keep going. What Red Engine? The machine was his life's work, a perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works, and I know how to fuel it. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine, but unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you. Bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of.